This article is going to cover the top five tips for avoiding germs and infections when working out at a gym. The surface hygiene study took a look at all of the common areas in the gym that would have the most amount of germs. Uh, the following areas were tested. The cardio and free weight machines, the free weights and dumbbells, the mats, the lockers, the showers, and the locker room floors. Over three days, four samples were collected with a total of 109 samples. The highest contaminated areas were the entrance door handles, the shower floors, the bench headrests, and the dumbbells. Tip number one is to always wipe down your mats or machines before you use them. Uh, you, you can't rely on the person for you to have wiped them down. I've even seen trainers uh, train with clients, have them sweat all over the mats and put them right back. So the responsibility is on you to wipe down your machine before you use it. Tip number two is to always wear shoes and a towel when you go into the steam room or the sauna and the shower. It's amazing when you go in there, you find people uh, not only not wearing uh, anything on their feet, they'll go into the sauna or the steam room ass naked. Uh, bacteria and germs love warm environments, especially warm and wet environments. One last note on that is uh, if you're going into the steam room or the sauna and you're wearing one towel, when you go to shower, you need to use another towel because then you're just taking those germs that you just got in the steam room and putting them right back onto your body. So you need two towels, one for before and one for after. Tip number three is to bring your own towels with you to the gym as opposed to relying on the gym to give you the towels when you come in. This is a convenient service, but uh, if you go into the change rooms, you'll notice a lot of the people that are using the towels uh, when they're done, they throw them down on the floor and they wipe their feet with it and they wipe the ground with it. you got to think, who's cleaning these towels? It's usually a staff who is overworked and being paid minimum wage, so you can't really rely on the quality and cleanliness of the towels that they're giving you. So it's better to be safe and just bring your own towels. The fourth tip is to bring your own water with you to the gym as opposed to relying on the drinking fountain. Not only will you drink more water, likely if you have the bottle, but uh, people are putting their mouth all over the, the, the tap there. Uh, you know, they're getting off the treadmill breathing heavy. You don't know what kind of germs they have. You're better off just uh, bringing your own water bottle and not having to worry about that. The final tip is to be mindful of any soaps or detergents that you're placing on your skin beforehand. Uh, this is uh, was a new one for me when I figured it out, but you want to be mindful because uh, the skin has a barrier on it that will help fight off bacteria. It's an acidic layer on the skin, and if you use any kind of soap on your body, it's going to take out the bad bacteria, but also the good bacteria. So if your uh, skin does encounter any kind of bad bacteria while you're working out, you won't have that defensive mechanism to fight it off, making you more likely to get an infection. Thanks for watching. For more information, you can click the link below. I've included a link to the study that I talk about at the beginning and some other useful information.